everybody. In this video, we'll tackle adding Lucid Slugify to the project. And this is a great package that makes it easy for us to create user-friendly URLs, slugs for our posts and our categories, whatever else we're going to do. So we'll add this first uh, before we start doing anything else with uh, categories and posts. One thing to be aware of, you have to use Adonis install for this, not NPM install. That way it'll be integrated with the project properly. So I'm just going to copy this right here and I'll go to the project, open my terminal. Now while that is installing, we also have to add the provider to our provider's array. And once it's done installing it, it'll open up a file like this automatically and it'll show us where to put it. So I'm just gonna copy that line. And the providers array is found in the start directory in the app.js file. So just add it to the end there. Now taking a look at the documentation, let's just give a quick overview of how Slugify actually works. You can see an example here. We have to add this boot method to any model that we want to uh, have slugs created for. And for fields right here, we select the title field in this example, and the title field acts as like a seed to create the actual slug. Now it's important to know that we create the slug column in our database with a migration, but we're not writing to the slug field directly. Instead, this, this will be uh, created automatically for us. Now there's different strategies we can use to deal with slug conflicts. So if you have two slugs that end up with the same, uh, same text, so we have two slugs that are named the same, then the strategy will deal with those conflicts. Personally, I like the DB increment strategy. And what that does, if we scroll down a little bit, you can see it'll automatically append a number to the end. Uh, this is a lot like what uh, WordPress does. If you create a page or post with the same title, it'll create a slug for you and it'll automatically add a number at the end of it just to differentiate them all. There's other strategies we can use like short ID where you just kind of get this random string at the end. I don't like this one as much simply because you can't quite remember it and may not be that obvious to you. I find this uh, a lot more comfortable. You can use whatever strategy you want for the project. It, totally up to you. You can even come up with your own custom strategy if you want. Yeah, we can get pretty in depth with that, but for this project, we'll just be dealing with simple uh, DB increment. And lastly, for Slugify to work, you have to make sure we have Lucid uh, version 5.0.3. So right now you should have 5.0.2 in your package.json. Just change that to a three, and then you'll want to delete your package lock. I'll just delete that. Run another NPM install, and that will make sure that we don't run into any trouble further on. If you have any questions about that, if you have any trouble setting it up, please do post a comment down below and I'll do my best to help out. Uh, be sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe because we have other videos coming very, very soon. Thanks a lot.